Now, if the name NeoCities rings a bell or two, that is for good reason, as in the late 90s and early 2000s, personal websites were all the rage, and to go along with the trend, a website known as GeoCities were created, which allowed its users to create their own websites, with the domain names and hosting provided for free. Now, I'm a Zoomer, so I weren't around when this was all the rage, or I was pretty much a fetus when it was, but unfortunately, during the year of 2009, the company announced that it would cease its operations in the United States, and a decade later, in April of 2019, it would cease its operations in Japan, marking the end of the now-defunct company. However, not all was lost. As in May of 2019, NeoCities was created with the aim of reviving the individual driven web that was left to rot in the wake of the shutdown of GeoCities. And with over 409,000 websites, it's pretty safe to say it's not doing too badly. So if we have a look at the website right here, it's pretty damn simple. You've got NeoCities and the sign up for free here. So what you can do is you can enter your domain name, the kind of domain name you want for your site. Now it will end in .neocities.org, which I think is a pretty nice trade off to say you're not paying one cent for this service. So you can enter your domain name here, your username, domain name, whatever. And whatever everyone, Jerry, Jerry Jerry enter your tags now now these will be used to find your website so if your website is going to primarily be about yourself or it's going to be about some a topic that you're passionate about you want to use tags that are aimed at that website so if you're going to make something about cake recipes you're going to want to mention cake food recipes sugar I don't know you know pretty self-explanatory entity password and an email now as it says here there are zero advertisements on this whole website. This entire website and all of its services are run with the donations of others. So they are not stealing your data. They aren't selling anything to third parties. This is purely donation run. And they say that can be proven through their site actually being completely open source. So if we check down here, open source, we publish the code that powers the site for inspection. We want you to win your trust. Sorry, we want to win your trust, not lock you in. So I think this is about as good as a free hosting and free domain name place you're going to get in 2021 slash 2022. Now, one feature I really enjoy about NeoCities is all of the sites you can find quite easily through the site itself. So if we have a look down here, we have a, a tab called Featured Sites, where this is kind of an ode to the older Geo sites, where every now and then they would update the Featured Sites to show off some of the new sites that get the most hits or look the most interesting. So we can click on here, and we can sort by most followed, special source, last updated, new city supporters. You know, you can really, really sort out what sites you want to see. So like over here, you can filter by tag. So this is, and I really, really like this. This is def this definitely brings back the vibe of a late 90s internet, early 90s internet. And you can really tell the that each one of these sites have a lot of individuality within them. A lot of them look nothing like each other. And if it wasn't for the domain name, you'd think these, you'd think you've just gone back 25 years. Now, one site I enjoy reading on is Dig Deeper. Now, this site is a very tech-focused website, as you can see here. They have Tor mirrors, Freenet mirrors, ITP mirrors. They have an they have an Atom feed. So this is just my shout out. I do quite like reading on this site. I like reading up on his uh, on his blog posts. Recommend if you want to take a look at Neo Cities. Now, if we take a look at the Support Us tab, you will see that you do get the option to pay five dollars a month for increased storage and bandwidth. So if you have a look at what you get for free, you get one gigabyte of storage for the entire for your entire site, that's everything. And you also get 200 gigabytes of bandwidth. Now, unless you're going to be running a website that thousands and tens of thousands of people are going to be visiting, those 200 gigabytes should last you a pretty long while. Now, if we have a look at the free tab, you see you get no advertising. As it said on the front page, you get an RSS feed, site tags, CLI tools, stuff like that. Whereas with the supporter, 
you get 50 gigabytes of storage which is absolutely plenty for anything you'd want to be doing apart from a video site if you're planning on putting videos on your website videos do take up quite a lot of storage so you might want to think about that three terabytes of bandwidth and you get all of these little tick boxes here so you get basic email support you get um, lifted restrictions on the types of files you can upload so that's pretty nice though if you were going to be paying five dollars a month for something like this I think the majority of people who do pay for this either really really appreciate the some of the tools that NeoCities provides you or they don't know about just paying for your own VPS because for five dollars a month I'm pretty sure you can pay for something from you pay your subscription for Vulture or something like that where you get your own dedicated VPS where you can have back-end and front-end control and be able to do what you want at your own pace so just something to keep a look keep a look out for there now I've just logged on to my account that I've created with NeoCities and this is pretty much what your home page is going to look like without the updated things here obviously so with NeoCities you actually do get the option to edit your site within NeoCities website itself so if we take a look here you get the option to if we click on index HTML for example we click edit here and it will load with its own little HTML editor which I think is pretty damn impressive this is quite nice and you know if you want to make a quick change to your index.html file you can do it within the website and that is what you do by the way in case you're wondering you log into your website through the NeoCities website you can also go straight to your website by typing in whatever you chose your first part of the do domain name to be followed by .neocities.org but you can also edit you, you can also create a file in your code editor you have on your computer for example if you're using Atom or if you're using a modified version of Vim you can do your HTML editing in there and then you can simply just drag and drop the files here to upload them to the site so it really it really it really gives you that choice of whether you can whether you want to edit your site through NeoCities itself or you just want to edit it on your on your own little IDE. It's completely up to you. And that's about it. I really just wanted to show this off. I think it's a great little project. I hadn't heard about it until recently, so I've been spending the past couple of days just messing about with it, seeing what I can get to work and stuff like that. Obviously this is just a just one recently I created, but um yeah, I really I really have been enjoying this so far. So if you want to create your own website and have it hosted for the people to visit, uh, this is definitely the way to go about it if you don't want to spend any money. Of course, you can also use uh, GitHub's Pages feature, but there are some restrictions on that, and I'm not, too, I'm not too sure what they are. Whereas with this, I haven't found any restrictions so far, other than the bandwidth and the storage restrictions, of course. And also having no access to the back end, obviously, because you're not paying for it, you're not going to get access to the back end. I think that's just something... You should be expecting anyway, so. So if you're just looking for a free way to do some website editing, some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can use JavaScript on this as well, then NeoCities is a pretty good shout. I'd say GitHub Pages is also something you should think about, and if you and if you enjoy it, you enjoy making your own website, then you should really consider paying a couple pounds, a couple bucks a month for a VPS where you have access to the back end and the front end and then you also have the opportunity to I know, create your own email service and stuff like that so yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you do check out NeoCities it's, it looks pretty damn nice uh, have a good day everyone and I will see you soon